Okay, let's take a walk around this. I think it's a 1988 Land Rover 110 Genuine County Station Wagon. This one fitted with uh, 200 TDI power. Um, it's currently undergoing a cherished transfer, hence there's no number plates on it at the minute. Um, should be, I think, uh, on an e-registration. We're just waiting to hear back from the DVLA what the um, what the number's going to be, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's uh, certainly used to be on an e-registration, so no doubt it will be now. Um, been refinished in uh, metallic uh, silver grey. Um, quite a nice job, actually, but uh, I think done some years ago. There's a few bits of um, paint loss and stuff here and there on it. Um, let's see what it's got on it. It is a proper genuine county station wagon, so it will be uh, London Emission Zone compatible. It's got a full-length galvanised roof rack on it with rear access ladder. It's got sunroof, the proper um, county-style alpine lights, opening side windows, tinted glass, all that sort of thing. Um, it's got a matching set of uh, General Grabber 23585 R16 tyres on modular rims. That's a matching set of five. Um, it's got the factory steering guard on it. What else? It's a full 12 seater, um, three cloth seats in the front, three in the back, and three, oh, sorry, two twin sideways facing rear seats, as you'd expect. It's got rear mud flaps on it, adjustable height tow pack with electrics. And that's about it, I guess, externally. Um, let's go around it and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Very dent free, very, very straight indeed. As I say, just a, a fair few areas of um, paint loss and electrolytic reaction just popping up on it here and there. But um, so it's very dent free. Around the front end, the um, the light trims are quite uh, quite badly pockmarked and stuff. Wouldn't a new pair of those wouldn't go amiss really? Only about twelve pounds each, I think. So uh, a new pair of light covers would be quite nice. Um, a couple of bits of paint loss just up this seam here uh, and a bit of paint loss just on the bottom of the, the near side front panel there and there as well and also a bit in this seam as well. But looking down the near side front wing it all looks pretty straight and clean down there by Landy standards. Um, near side front wing looks in good shape as does the, uh, the eyebrow. Tiny bit of paint loss just on the inside of the eyebrow just there. Um, up here on the scuttle corner and up on the, uh, the vent panel on the passenger side here is just starting to bubble up here just around the vent panel hinge just there um, and some bubbling just coming up on the scuttle corner here but it all looks uh, still feels and looks pretty solid just a slight bubbling coming up there and there's a fair bit of paint loss just uh, underneath the uh, the screen seal just there roof all looks nice near side door a fair bit of electrolytic reaction just down the bottom edge here and paint loss just along there um, and a very slight depression in the barrel side, which has put a little crack in the paint just there, actually on the, uh, the near side. Door. Looking inside it, it's pretty clean and, uh, and straight. The seats are all in pretty good shape all around. Headlining's a bit grubby and a bit saggy, but uh, not uncommon on these for that to be the case. Um, and the original footwell carpets are, are long gone. It's just the, um, the mats in the footwells. But uh, footwells actually on that side look pretty good, actually. We'll see that by the other side when we get there. Originally it was blue. Um, and so it's been repainted in metallic, uh, metallic grey. I don't know if this is Bonatti grey or not, actually, but uh, um, there you go. Oh, it's also got a checker plate on the wing tops as well, and the wing, wing tops and the rear quarters. Forgot that. Anyway, um, door bottoms. Passenger one is pretty rusty along the bottom there, but it's still um, there's still a fair bit of uh, weight in the door. Tiny bit of movement in the hinges, but it still uh, shuts nicely, so it's not in imminent need of. Um, replacement. Um, this side rear door again some reaction on the bottom on the bottom edge and paint loss there and a tiny dink just there a little bit more there and a bit up there but looking in the back here all this um, side panel here looks to be in good shape uh, seats are good we've got seat belts in there this near side rear door rusty there as always um, but the bottom frame actually doesn't feel too bad on that that's not bad at all that near side rear door. Um, near side rear wing is all fine as is the uh, van side. Around the tail end here it all looks pretty good. Not much electricity reaction on the tailgate in fairness. That looks quite good, quite good actually. Um, and in the back here, my bag won't come with it incidentally, neither will the trade plates. Just for the avoidance of doubt. Um, 
there are it looks like a couple of seat belts in the back here but not not for each um not for each person so we won't say it's got seat belts in the back um but it all looks pretty clean and tidy the jack's all there yeah that's uh I'll say just a bit of dirt and grubbiness on the headlining which has sagged a bit as usual um tailgate actually pretty good that tailgate that's not bad at all yeah not bad quite good um looking down the offside very straight actually very nice clean straight good slight dink just here in the back of the near side um, of the offside rear panel just there just pushed it in very slightly um but offside rear wing all looks nice um, offside rear door looks not bad at all it's been had a repair just up here in the uh, the corner there is they where they usually go um and the base of the offside rear door actually isn't bad at all so the rear doors aren't too bad um, and again there's no movement in the hinges really a bit of paint loss on the offside uh, modesty cover as you can see just along there um, offside front door same story as the near side one really electrolytic reaction on the bottom edge of the door um, actually we'll come back to the inside of that in a minute there's a sort of a long double-sided scratch there and there on the offside front wing uh, but otherwise the offside front wing is all good um, up here on the scuttle corner on the offside a little bit of paint loss and stuff up here I saw not paint loss um, a bit of bubbling up here but um, no more than that and there's some paint loss again around the um, uh, around the screen seal and there's a fair bit of paint loss just up here just above the vent flap along there that's it really um, let's have a little look inside on here this door um, rusty at the rear corner there but aside from that it's not too bad actually a little bit of movement in the hinges but again no more than uh, you'd expect given its age and mileage footwells actually look pretty good on this one yeah not bad at all um, and the seats are in good shape as we say that's all, uh, all really quite nice um, dash is good it's also got a radio cd in it so really so it's just the near, the, uh, the near side front door is the, uh, the worst of the five the rest of them aren't too bad um, and certainly none of them are in imminent need of repair or replacement anyway that's about it really my name's Simon you can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk we take part exchanges we take visa and mastercard credit cards and debit cards with a two percent surcharge um, and we can ship it anywhere you like in the two percent surcharge for credit cards certainly and we can ship it anywhere you like in the world obviously at a cost that's about it and